Okay, so today we're going to be talking about anime characters that look like bodybuilders, or bodybuilders that look like anime characters, depending on how you want to do this. Don't take the list too seriously, I just thought it would be kind of fun to do. And if you guys have your own suggestions that I didn't put in this video, let me know. Uh, put it in the comment section, I think it'll be pretty cool. Also, this list won't be strictly bodybuilders, because some anime physiques don't exactly look like bodybuilders. It's mostly just influential fitness figures more so than strictly bodybuilders who compete in competitions and whatnot. So you'll maybe see some social media influencers and some movie characters here and there. Okay, let's get on to the video. First we have Goku, and Goku is honestly kind of hard to figure out. First of all, he's very constantly looking different, so it's hard to really get a gauge of what he actually looks like when his forms make change the way he looks all the time. So I kind of just went for three different Gokus. One of the Gokus was his his smaller physique back in like Dragon Ball Super. One of them is also in Dragon Ball Super, but it's a slightly bigger version. This is like when he goes Ultra Instinct and he has a significant amount of muscle. And the last one is I think his biggest form back when he was fighting Vegeta and Kaioken and when he was fighting Frieza and Super Saiyan. That's when his muscles got ridiculously big. So for the smallest form, it was actually pretty easy. I just went with Bruce Lee. Both of them have very lean, you know, fighter style physiques. Goku is probably a bit bigger, but I think it's pretty close. For the more medium-sized Goku that we see in Ultra Instinct, there's actually quite a bit to choose from. If you were to ask me, I think it's his chest and his arms that really stand out. He also looks kind of stocky. I mean, he has a somewhat smaller torso. So taller bodybuilders like Arnold Schwarzenegger don't exactly fit in. For this, I got kind of stuck between Franco Colombo and Jeff Side. Franco's chest and arms are similar to Goku, but... I mean, everywhere else, he just completely dominates Goku, so it seems like he's a bit too big for this. Jeff Side or Jeff Seed is a good size, but I think his chest isn't quite big enough. So I'm honestly not sure. You can tell me who you think. As for the big form of Goku, I think Franco Colombo is actually very close to it. They both have that same stocky build. They both have absurd shoulders, chest, and arms. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty good fit. Next up here, sticking with the Dragon Ball Z characters, we have Broly and Jay Cutler. Now, there's actually some facial similarities between them as well because Jay Cutler has like sort of spikier or like his hair sort of raises up a bit and he's blonde, which of course is similar to Broly, although Broly's hair is more like a greenish lime color, but it's close enough. But yeah, basically they're both gigantic mass monsters. And if you see this picture here where they have uh, Jay Cutler edited to sort of look like Broly more with uh, the with his jewelry and with his hair and with the Super Saiyan glow. It does look pretty similar. Other mass monsters like uh, Nick Walker or something like that, they just don't have the same the same look to it. Broly is like a mass monster, but he's also like a bit aesthetic. And I think Jay Cutler sort of toes that line pretty well, pretty closely to Broly. Next one, I mean, this one's pretty obvious if you've watched Baki. It is Sergio Oliva and Biscuit Oliva. I mean, he was literally designed to look like Sergio Oliva, so yeah, this one's a no-brainer. And continuing on with the Baki trend, next we have Baki. Baki was also pretty hard to find. He has like this weird mixture of a bodybuilder and fighter physique. Google also doesn't help with this because every time I look for someone who looks like Baki, it's just like this random person that just looks pretty muscular. Because yeah, I mean, apparently everyone who has like a little bit of muscle automatically looks like Baki. I mean, I've been, people have said that I look like Baki before. It's also a similar case with Goku, where you can look at different pictures of Baki, and he looks significantly more muscular in different photos. The closest thing that I could find was Russell Orhi, who looks very much like Baki in this specific picture. When you compare these two in these two photos, where they're doing kind of the same pose, they look very similar. So yeah, I mean, that's the closest I could get. Uh, yeah, let's go on to the next person. Next up, we have Yujiro. The best one I could find for this is Mike Metzer. Now, Yujiro has a much smaller waist, but I think that when they do their classic poses, when Mike Menzer does this pose, or the crucifix pose, it looks similar to Yujiro Hanma doing his, like, bear pose sort of thing. If that similarity is a bit too superficial, which admittedly is kind of superficial, then we can go with Brian Buchanan. Brian Buchanan has an extremely small waist, and I think that corresponds well with Yujiro. I think these two put together is probably the closest that we can get to a real life Yujiro Hanma. Next we have Machio from How Heavy Are the Dumbbells That You Lift. And this one though is pretty easy for me, uh, Big Rami. They both have that look of almost 
almost bulbous, like, like cartoonishly large muscles. Very, very round muscles, fills out the frame very completely, and looks very much like a cartoon to me. That's how I would describe Big Rami's muscles and Machio's muscles. And next one, this one's pretty obvious. I mean, I should probably have done this a long time ago since like everyone's wondering, oh, where's this guy gonna be? It's Ronnie Coleman, and I'm pairing him up with Darkshine. Ronnie Coleman even made a post on Instagram, I believe, where he said, hey, is this guy like me? Because, you know, he's, he's black, he's very similar to Ronnie. There's even that manga panel of him squatting, which is, you know, very similar to uh, Ronnie Coleman's famous 700 pound, or was it 800 pound, squat for two reps. So yeah, this one, obvious. Next, we have another popular bodybuilder that I probably should have mentioned a long time ago. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And for some reason, this one took me a long time to find, but when I found it, it was like, well, I mean, obviously, this is so clearly the case. And this one is Escanor. Both Arnold and Escanor have completely overpowering arms and chests and somewhat lacking legs. They're both also on the taller side, so that also goes in favor for them as well. Next, we have a pretty popular anime physique, and this is Jonathan Joestar. Now, this one was pretty hard to do. There's quite a few people who could land on this, but I settled on James English or Chris Bumstead. I ironically couldn't find an anime character that fit with Chris Bumstead, and this one looked the closest, so I just kind of put him in here. But James English, he actually looks a lot like Jonathan Joestar, if you ask me. This one's kind of hard for me to explain, but I think they both just have that thick, well-rounded, sort of overall nice physique. Although I do think in some shots, Jonathan looks much taller, which kind of gives him an Escanor Arnold look, but in most pictures I'm seeing, he looks, he just looks thick with a sort of moderate V taper, nothing to go crazy over, and that's, that's kind of what I see in James English. Next up, we have Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And this one is kind of, was kind of hard. I think that he kind of looks like Jay Cutler, but that might just be because they're both blonde. But Armstrong also fits well with, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. I'm just going to put his name on the screen here. He was a strongman winner, and I think he looks pretty aesthetic. He has that more blocky look that Armstrong has, although of course he's not as lean as he is. I think Armstrong was meant to not look like a bodybuilder per se, but look like someone who looks really strong. And so he has all the muscles and everything, but he doesn't exactly have a thin waist. And I think that uh, this guy looks enough like him to uh, constitute being on this video. Next up, we have Yami from Black Clover. And this one is kind of difficult, but I eventually settled on Sean Nalawani. Both of these guys, I think they both have great physiques, but they look more like, like warrior physiques. Sort of like those ancient Greek statues I made a video on a couple weeks ago. They both have a very big frame, but still manage to have a little bit of V taper. And they both have pretty big abs, shoulders, and traps. Although even then, this one's kind of a stretch because Sean Nalawani clearly looks more like a bodybuilder than Yami does. Next up here, we're going back to Dragon Ball Z with Master Roshi. And for Master Roshi, I have Kevin Lavroni. I think it's the shoulders. Yeah, it's definitely the shoulders. Both of them just have completely ridiculous shoulders that help fill out their frame a lot. Now, there's no one that can really look like Master Roshi in real life because his proportions are all completely whack. But I think Kevin Lavroni, especially his most muscular poses, looks similar enough, as, as similar as I could find to Master Roshi. Next up here, we're going back to One Punch Man and we have Saitama. And who does Saitama look like? I mean, it's just look, just Google Saitama and you'll eventually find these guys. It's pretty, it's pretty clear. It's Frank Madrano and the calisthenic movement guy. I believe his name is L Eggs, or at least that's his Instagram handle. They're bald, they're lean, they're ripped. I mean, what else do you need? They both have similar muscle mass as well. So that, that bolts well for them. Next is Zoro. And this one was also very hard for me to find. Zoro is like my favorite anime character and like doing this was really hard. Like I couldn't find anyone that really fit the mold. The closest I could find was Team 3D Alpha when he leaned down a bit. But I mean, in these photos, Zoro kind of mogs him. And then the next closest person I could find was Steep K. They both have that really thick midsection and similar proportions. Now, Steep K does have bigger arms, but I think they look pretty similar. Maybe it's just me, but I think they look similar enough. Just kind of ignore Steep K's ridiculous arms. Next we have Asta, and this one was kind of hard as well. So the people I found that sort of fit the mold are Tristan Lee, 
but Tristan Lee is much uh, skinnier, and he doesn't have the same um, the same denseness in his muscles that Asta has. Although he does have the leanness, probably maybe a bit even more lean than Asta is. The next person I could find was Lee Priest, but <laughs> Lee Priest just completely destroys Asta. But yeah, in terms of their general shape, I think they both have that same stocky look. So I think he's the closest to one. So I think if you mix Tristan Lee and Lee Priest, you'll get Asta. Next up is Ace from One Piece, and he doesn't really have a bodybuilder physique, it's more of like a model physique, so I went with Tyler Durden from Fight Club. He's probably a bit too small, but I think it's close enough. Silver Fang from One Punch Man and Athlean X look kind of similar to me. Maybe it's because they're on the older side and they're both ridiculously lean. Although it's similar to the Zoro situation where you just gotta kind of not look at their arms. If you take away Athlean X's arms and just look at the, the torso and shoulder part, then they actually do look kind of similar. They actually look pretty similar if you ask me. So I'll just remove Athlean X's arms and this is Silver Fang. You can also argue that Silver Fang looks like Tristan Lee due to just how absurdly lean that they both are, but I think that Silver Fang has a bit more density. So maybe again, you just mix uh, Tristan Lee with someone else, this time being Athlean X. Mix Tristan Lee and Athlean X and you get Silver Fang, I guess. Next in One Punch Man, we have Garo, and Garo is pretty tough. I'm gonna link him with Max True. Max True is actually the man who holds the Muscle Up World record. Now Max's chest is shaped a bit different, but they both have that same fullness in their chest, and they both have their abs being what mainly stands out in their physique. Max's abs just like, they just punch out of his body, it's, it's insane. Like someone just literally got soap bars and stuck them on his, on, his, on his core. Or maybe there's actually a person inside of his stomach that's punching his abs out because they just protrude so much and they stand out so much from the rest of his physique. And I get that same sort of vibe with Garo. I'm talking about human Garo, by the way, not the alien Garo, it's the human Garo. Next up here, we have Deku, and this one was pretty hard to find because he just looks like someone who is moderately fit and doesn't like have, you know, the most ridiculous muscles. Someone, you know, with decent genetics who's been training for a while. And for this, I couldn't really think of anyone, so I, I guess I just put Jeremy Ethia in there. Although, I mean, he's, he's clearly bigger than Deku. I think Deku's a bit too small to really have a fitness influencer analog. And I'm not very well versed on movie stars, so I didn't really have anyone to compare him to in terms of that area. So if you guys have anyone for Deku, just let me know. Anyway, sticky with My Hero Academia, next up we have All Might. And All Might, I'm going to give to Mike O'Hearn. They both just have that superhero body. The only problem with this, I believe, is that Michael Hearn doesn't exactly have All Might's legs. Which is why I think another person you could put in here who might actually be more closer to All Might now that I'm thinking about it is Nick Walker. Just trim Nick's waist down a bit and he has the proportions of All Might, I believe. That super round, cartoony, superhero look is definitely there with All Might and Nick Walker. These next two we're going to finish off with are more lean guys. So yeah, next we have Inosuke from Demon Slayer. He has a very well-rounded body, generally speaking, although he's on a bit of the smaller side. And for this, I gave him Chris Heria. Chris Heria has a nice and well-rounded physique, like, uh, like Inosuke, in my opinion. Although, Inosuke is known more for his flexibility, and in that case, I'm going to compare him to Gabo Saturno. Gabo Saturno also has a physique that's pretty similar to Inosuke, except he's also known for being extremely flexible, just like Inosuke. So I think it's probably more accurate to say Gabo, but uh, Chris Harry is also one who fits in there kind of well, in my opinion. And finally, we have Kilua from Hunter x Hunter. And this one was pretty simple for me. It's definitely Tristan Lee. They both have that extremely lean and sort of flat look to their muscles. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Kilua and Tristan Lee. That's the last one. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me who you think should be here. Maybe you can find more accurate people who fit the mold more closely than the people that I mentioned. Maybe there's some people that some famous anime physiques that I didn't mention that you believe fits very well with so and so bodybuilder. Again, this is all for fun. Don't take it too seriously. I put quite a bit of thought into this, but it's very possible that I got a lot of this wrong or not as right as it could be. So yeah, I mean, definitely let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, again, like, comment, subscribe. I think I already said this. All right, peace. Bye.